Hello, everybody, Hello. and welcome to the Furry, the Trap, and the Cam Girl podcast. Woo! Hello. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> we're on time. We knew what topic we were going to talk about. No, nope, don't worry about it. We totally yep. have a topic. Don't, yeah. don't worry about it. I mean, we got it. We didn't think about it like three minutes ago. Uh, we're great. So, don't, totally not the episode, <clears throat> episode 16 is about right? how to travel. Okay? Yes. Oh, we are going God. to be solving the yes. best way, the best destination. Yeah. We are going mm -hmm. to solve if if it's better to pay money and uh, save time, or if it's better to save your money and and waste it where you're going. Mm -hmm, we are going mm -hmm. to be solving mm -hmm. how to travel. Everyone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. I have I have the greatest way to travel, but I will say it at the end because it's so good. It's it's yeah it's it's a life hack. It's actual life hack. Oh, oh my god. We are going to be getting life hacks. I think I have a feeling where you're going with We are going to be getting life hacks. Stop oh. the process! <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got a feeling where you're going with that, but I'll, I'll leave it for you. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. So, what, what I'd like to just start with is like, okay, yeah. where have you traveled and have have you been happy with where you've gone like have you been have you been when you got back been like damn that was so fucking worth it or oh shit i just wasted a fuck out of time and money on something that i hated short mm. answer yes and yes <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute Next that... question. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta explain this yes i have traveled a lot yeah. or oh. well not by some standards, but right? for yeah. my standards, it's a lot. <laughs> all depends, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, it all depends. Uh, so I used to travel a lot with my parents when I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, only we did like small trips to neighboring countries. That's nice. Um, oh, but still, it's nice. So those are like uh, weekends and, and maybe a small week or something. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, but it's usually pretty budget as we can travel there yeah. by car so it's yeah. pretty cheap so no mm. no flying shit whatever just get in the car drive mm. uh but it's also pretty fun as far as i remember <laughs> yeah fair enough so where did well, you go we with have, your we parents have a, we have a tendency um, to the fun part well i'm <laughs> from the netherlands so we went to um belgium and they have the um like a little bit more rocky-ish and mountainous and 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 hilliers and foresty places. So we went there. So it looked like we were far, far away. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. And it actually gave like uh, like holiday vibes. And well, we were pretty young, so we were easily entertained. So <laughs> dump us in a in a river, and we are in front all day. <laughs> like where where is actually mm -hmm. Netherlands? Wait, mm -hmm. let me just, let me just look this up because this is something that is. Um... It's right above Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that helped a lot. Like there's something <laughs> with but, like being in Sweden, there's basically only three places you can visit. It's Norway, Finland, or Denmark. That's about it. That well that's like the, the standard yeah. places that you'd visit right. from mm, Sweden. Right. But it's 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 expanded now because now we usually go to the other Baltic countries to the side, like we we go to like Poland and stuff as well. For some reason. I mean, and there are like with I the guess. boats you can go to like What's it called? Um, well, you know, you know the you know the boats. I mean, you go with like uh, the Russia? bigger boats, and you'd go to like the cruises. Uh, yeah, you'd go with the I cruise to like Tallinn or whatever. Yeah, uh, Finland or Germany. I've heard people go a lot to Germany, but it's basically just to yeah. buy alcohol. <laughs> yeah, the the Germany trips are usually yep. just to stock up on alcohol. <laughs> yeah, alcohol. But then they'd go with cars, so they can actually like. Just fill the trunk of the car. Yup, yup. <laughs> alcohol is affordable in Germany, I can confirm. <laughs> good. Can good. confirm, okay, good. Like, yeah, the cool thing about living in the Netherlands, at least from my part or point of view, like, there's a lot of different countries close by. Look, you can go to Great Britain, you can go to France, you can go to Germany. You can also mm -hmm. go to Denmark, technically, because it's about as far away for, for us oh. as that is for wow. you. Yeah. yeah. That's a really well, cool place to live. Yeah, just, just by car, it's like mostly yeah. Germany, Belgium, France, maybe Luxembourg. Mm. Just a little dot in between Germany mm. and France. Yep, yep. <laughs> wow, Netherlands is um, so small. I think there's a train or a drive connection to the UK. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, there's a... Britain. Yeah, yeah. So well, you yeah. can either drive there or put your car on the train, and the train takes you there, but, so I you don't have you can, to fly. I think or you can, can take drive, a boat. You can also that go works. to the Yeah, there's a tunnel. There yeah, is a tunnel. A tunnel now. So, so uh, yeah, uh, Alistar, where, where have you been, and have you been happy with your travels? Like I've I've I'm gonna be real. I've never paid for my traveling because I only travel with my family. Okay. Um, You've never gone on so... a, your, your own trip yet. No, I haven't had the no. the vitality for it. I've been I've been too uh -huh. sick. No. Uh, but the one the place I went to latest uh, was Egypt. Uh -huh. Oh. Um, and it was my dream destination. Oh really? Um, yeah, because right. I I don't know I something mystical about the the pyramids. Uh, so we okay. went there with uh my mom and my ex and it was it was nice it was really nice um for a while until we we arrived uh <laughs> oh god no. cuz we we, we we didn't know where we were going really like we just picked a hotel that had a good price um so we arrived oh. in oh. Uh, what was it called it wasn't Cairo it was one of the like ba basically it was a tourist town that made from scratch to have tourists in it. So there was no one living no. there. Oh, okay. They all carred yeah, over people, there. Yeah, people just uh, yeah. drive there and work and then yeah, exactly. they leave again. Exactly. So it was a very hollow town. And for some reason, they have like, uh, 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 there's laws that they have to work. And if they don't work, they get sent to jail or something. Like, it's, it's, what? I, I don't really? actually exactly know, but they have to work. So one no. little like food stall could have like five people in it. That's supposed to have one oh. person. So everything was overcrowded. Every store oh, had God. like 10 people as well working in it when there should be like five. Um, and oh, we God. found one woman that entire time. Hmm. One. Oh. And she got wow. sexually harassed by the other Egyptian guys. <laughs> like it was, oh. it was not, it was not great. It was really fucking oh. bad. And she was the only nice oh. person. <laughs> I was like, oh, was my like, God. like this. This is not great at all. Mm. And then we, um, oh. so I wanted to see the pyramids, and we went to a. Was it Tel Aviv? No, it was I don't know. Tel Aviv is yeah, where? I I, no, 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 no. That's uh, Israel. I was there in Israel, but yeah, uh, we were in one of the tourist towns, and then we uh -huh. um, we chartered a bus because um, uh -huh. you you could take like uh, borrow a car or like travel across the deserts to get to Cairo. But mm -hmm. someone a month before us had done that. Like they've brought, they've they've taken their uh, motorbikes and driven all the way to Egypt to see the pyramids and like take a a like I don't know walkabout with their, with their bikes, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and they got they got super fucking kidnapped by terrorists. No. Um, so they're um, like, no. Uh, mm, mm, you're not mm. allowed. Don't do that, please. Uh, come with us instead. So we're just, we entered like a normal like school bus. Um, I'm gonna rent the gun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And after we were in the school bus, like, yeah, we gotta wait for some people first. We're like, okay. So we waited for like two hours, and then suddenly they came. Oh, it was literally the army. They had like fucking oh, tanks and like cars. Like, no, it wasn't so real. They had tanks escorting you. It was insane. What? I'm like, wait, where are we? We I are would in Egypt. For that. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's fucking. It was, it was so surreal. It was so ah, surreal. That's all, so weird. I would pay for that. I've I already love, been in like actual hell. I've oh, been God. in Israel, so like I've 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 been in a, a so called war zone slash hostile zone where people just walk mm. around with guns. You're like in the supermarket, just an army man yeah. walking around with an AK. Like <laughs> this is fine. This is this fine. Is, this is normal. Don't worry about this. this you, is just, cool. you just drive down uh, like a sidewalk, yeah. and there's just there's just a a giant hole where a bomb hit uh, a couple mm. months ago. It's like okay, good. This is this is fine. This is this is fine. This is um, fine. Li lightning, doesn't, <laughs> lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place, so bomb shouldn't mm. either. Like right? when we were there, they had been the longest ceasefire in apparently twenty years oh. or something. So we it was basically safe. We're like you don't know, people mm. people like to throw things. Uh, but yeah, mm. but going back to Egypt. So we went uh, on the bus with the fucking military escort to see the pyramids. <laughs> um, <laughs> We, I, I was a sweaty bus with a lot of people. It was very uncomfortable because I am a tall boy. Apparently, no mm -hmm. one in Egypt mm -hmm. is tall. But that's that's another mm -hmm. question. We get we get there. I sleep most of the way over, luckily. So okay. I don't really remember it a lot. Um, yeah. So we get there with the bus, and something I didn't know is that uh, 
doesn't um Cairo doesn't really handle waste. Uh-huh. So we get oh. to Cairo and we just enter oh. the main city of Cairo. We we find the mm. like the, the water Nile. Uh -huh. Um mm. and the bus drives over a bridge and just on the other side of like the, the shore bank, you can just see like a little little woman carrying carrying a, a trash bag and just mm -hmm. taking like like swing her arms around a bit, getting some some energy and then fling it mm -hmm. across um, the shoreline and into the river straight up. Oh god! And I look over; it's just a pile of trash in the middle oh. of like like it, it's it's not that it's happened like over a few days. Mm -hmm. This has happened for years and years. Okay. She yeeted the bag into the river. And was oh like, a, a, like thousands of tons of trash. Just Ugh, it's God. a trash mountain oh, in the in the that's water. That's horrible. Yeah, um, and apparently the people still um, <laughs> do their religious practices in the Nile. Like they go down to the water and like wash their faces to. Uh, no. Yeah, to relieve wash their sins or something. In, basically in the sewer. Oh, yeah, ba God. basically in in poo poo, uh, and people get very Ew. sick from that, and people have died from that. So, mm. Mm. yeah, I I was not impressed. And then we, we, we got to the actual pyramids and there was like 300 merchant souls around it. Like it was, they were like oh. screaming at us. It was actually <laughs> oh madness. It was not Buy fun. Buy my shit. Buy yeah, my stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, they gave and a necklace you... to, a, like, like, to a young girl. And she's like, oh, thank you. And she walked mm. away and they started screaming because they said she stole it from them. And it was just... Oh, fuck. Yeah, they just got really scared. Oh my gosh! It was yeah. It was it was. Was it, was it like was the the beautiful the beautiful oh lady tactic? Yes, right? yes it was. <laughs> oh beautiful lady, beautiful lady, yes. this looks so pretty on you. Oh exactly. My gosh, yep. Oh god. Exactly. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, it's it's just... like no matter how <laughs> no hard fun. they look, if it's a tourist, just yep. say beautiful lady. Yep. <laughs> oh. Even if it's, if it's got fucking a, an ass for a face, just. Beautiful lady. <laughs> Looks at me and you, Chucky. Well, I mean, that's, how, that's how you sell. Yep. Like, that's true. That's, that's very how true. you sell. That's yeah. a good way to do it. Yeah, just, it was just not good. Just sell, I guess. Yeah. Well, that kind of sucks. So, did you feel like that that trip was? Uh, well, Very you would have done it. You would have done it differently if you could redo uh, it. I, guess. I I would or, recommend or would... people not to go there. Uh, oh, really? That is my yeah. yeah it's. Not worth it, in my opinion. Mm. It wasn't cheap okay. either. It was just, yeah, it was just like we did take a, a camel ride in the middle of the desert. That was cool. Mm -hmm. We did mm -hmm. go to the like National Museum of of Egypt. Um, we went to the the uh, museum like two, one or two weeks after there was a, a giant like not civil war, but it was like basically <laughs> one of their democratic parties hated the other democratic party. So they just straight up sent in guns and bombed the place. So there was just oh, smoke okay. coming out. And the offices were <laughs> right next to the National Museum. You're like, huh. Oh, God. I recognize that photo. Uh, Yikes. Uh, this is normal. This is, is, this um, is fine. <laughs> totally not disturbing at all. Yeah, it, it was totally a not. bit too exciting yeah. for me. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that is very, very exciting, I have to say. Yeah, that sure. Was, was, um, how about you, Moosh? Have you had any uh, good traveling? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had a lot of good travels. Oh, really. perfect! Uh, I I've been. I don't think I've had a single trip. I feel like, dude, uh, if I had to, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have. Oh, really? You know, awesome. Where do you, I, can you name a country? I mean, I've uh, I've traveled a lot uh, from when I was a kid already yeah. because my mom and dad they've been travelers. I mean, they met abroad. In uh, that's awesome. At a cabal, I think it's called. Uh, in, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Ooh, that's mystical. It's, it, no, it, it's like a a, a farm. <laughs> it's a fighting they, mortal combat. Take, no, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. No, I'm, I'm thinking no. Rattler Two Cabal. <laughs> no, no, it's like a farm. Uh, and uh, they they just take in like random backpackers and shit to, to oh. work there. Oh, yeah. awesome. uh, so my dad's from South Africa, my mom's from Sweden. So they met uh, in, uh, oh shit, uh, outside of Tel Aviv somewhere. I oh, think. really? What? Yeah. Tel Aviv? Yeah. Hmm. 
all the places to backpack to. Yeah. You pick Israel. <laughs> uh, that was way back, so I mean, ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've been there so, too. That's really cool. It's really beautiful. Uh, I um so since they really love traveling, yeah. uh, it's it's always been like a thing with them that that we should go travel and stuff. So I've always been like brought up like yeah, we're going to go travel. Traveling is awesome, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. So um when I was a kid, I've been to a good couple of places already. I mean, I've been to South Africa a few times, seeing as the family's there. So yep, I know how yep. it is to travel to, to like meet family and stuff. Uh, and we've also like met up in uh, Hungary once to go skiing. Oh, which was really fun, mm. especially since, you know, South Africans, they don't see a lot of snow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fair enough. So going up into the mountains <laughs> in Hungary, was, that was pretty cool. We went skiing there, uh, which was a lot of fun. I really do recommend going skiing as a holiday because it is so much fun, <laughs> really. Um, it, is, it is, yeah, it's a good experience. Oh, I've gone skiing a lot with my mom, but not outside of the country. We just go up to Dalarna and to go skiing there. Because uh, my grandpa had like a timeshare uh, oh. apartment up there. Oh. That you, oh. He'd get, he had it with like a couple of other people. Mm. So I've done that and I've been, I've been to like, Okay, let's see. I've been to Russia. I've been to, uh, well, obviously South Africa. I've been to, been to uh, Sweden. Hungary. I've been yep. to, I've been to Sweden. Denmark. <laughs> I've been to Finland. I've been. I don't think. It, um, no, I haven't been in Norway, but I've been. I've traveled uh, with the. Without family as well. Oh. Uh, I've gone to Amsterdam. With friends yes uh, the real in question is, real... did you smoke weed <laughs> <laughs> yes i did real real talk would anyone travel to amsterdam with their family let's be honest here. oh god let's be honest oh, here. definitely i would oh i would i would no really yeah, totally yeah One well, it's not just travel. about i would travel anywhere with my dad my dad is the most fun to travel with ever oh He's i'm so jealous yeah, 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 yeah. No, oh, I'm jealous. He, he, I mean, uh, I traveled with my dad down in South Africa as well. I mean, we started out going there, me and Santa. We went by ourselves, and then they moved down there. And I mean, traveling with my dad is awesome. That's super cool, dude. Yeah, Sounds no, amazing. we. I I have like the best relationship with my dad and my mom, and nice. I I love traveling with them. My mom Keep met me way. when I went when I went to Asia, uh, yeah. and she kind of fucked up there, so I ended up alone. Oh. And my mom actually came all the way to Asia just so I'd have a good couple of weeks before I went back because it all became kind of sour. What? <laughs> yeah, Shit. so my mom That's was like, no, I'm amazing. taking a vacation. And she comes over there and we go to a different island and I do the diver certificate thing. Oh, yeah, and cool. we just have a super nice time there wow. together and that just chill awesome. out. And it was awesome. It was awesome. Like really, really good. So yeah, no, I I love traveling with my family. Really, I Perfect. do. Um, so I've been to uh, been to England, like London, uh, as well. Uh, I've been shit. I'm trying to remember no, all the places I've been. I've been place. when I did my when I did my Asia trip. I went to uh, Batam, which is a, an island in uh, from Indonesia. Uh, I've been to. Um, Singapore, I went through Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Bangkavi, and to uh, Thailand, and traveled up to Phuket, and went to Kolanta with my mom, which was really nice. Um, I have no yeah. idea where you are on the map right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> the south of Asia is where I'm at in the map. Somewhere to um, the right of us on the map. Yeah. Yes. The right enough. So you if, will if find it's not it. China or Japan, I'm pretty lost. No. Just keep, just keep going. Right. No. <laughs> yeah, so go to Japan and then you go uh, down a bit. No, Taiwan. Mm, further down. Um, Philippines. Yeah, okay. Indonesia. Yeah, Russia? Sort of... What? what? Russia? <laughs> That's, That's too far down. Yes, I can go back up. <laughs> I've, I've been to Russia too, yes. 
Uh, my stepmom is Russian. Привет. So I've been to Russia, Привет. went to went to <laughs> Moscow, and went to uh, the city where she is born, uh, Volgograd. That's nice. And went on a boat on Volga, the river, and that was awesome. I loved that. That was so much fun. Um, I wasn't very old then. I was traveling with my uh, whole family on my uh, my dad and Vaslisa and her two kids and my little brother. Wait, so we wait her, name is, her name is Vaslisa? Her name is Vaslisa, yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Wow, that's an amazing mm. name. It's a, it's a cool name. <laughs> it is. It that's is. a pretty dope name. <laughs> it sounds right? like someone is trolling you. I do like yeah, it. That, it sounds that, like that someone too, is trolling too. you, yes. I like it. I like it. Name. Yeah. That's what makes it amazing. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty different. So, yeah. Um yeah, so I mean, I've I've traveled uh quite a lot. I have to say. I feel I feel like I've I've been traveling a lot, but I love traveling and I I get very stressed out with the whole like uh, getting to places on time and stuff. The whole airplane crap is uh, it's it stresses me yes but it stresses like, everyone yeah yeah it's not fun <laughs> but like eh, it's it's worth it when you get to the place where you're going <laughs> that's, but I, that's fair i'm like i prefer i prefer being a place at least long enough for you to feel like it was worth the whole stress of going on an airplane and stuff you know and i oh, still yeah. want to do i want to do like the travel around europe thing oh really backpack all the big uh Mm. Big places or like backpacking i mean I, I, I my dream has always been to like get an rv and just drive around in europe oh. oh okay because then you'd have the rv so you can just like stop and and sleep wherever that's fair and doing it in the summer so it doesn't really matter if you get get like electricity and stuff because i mean you'd have like a small generator and solar panels on your rv but oh. Like having to take into places to plug in and stuff. It's yeah. yeah. It sounds cool. It would be warm anyways. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually. <laughs> Usually. I mean the pl the places I know people know, they always say it's so freaking warm here. And then they, I'm like, okay, how warm is it? And then they say how warm it is, and I'm like, oh shit, that's fucking warm. Okay. That's pretty warm. <laughs> Maybe it's too warm. <laughs> Never mind. Abort. Never mind. I'll just... But, but you're from Sweden, so that's like a different scale. <laughs> oh, God. It is a different scale, but I mean, it's been getting warmer and warmer here in the summers as well. So, yeah. so what's you are going to probably have a murder just... summer this summer as well. Yeah. So, so what, what is but... warm for you? Like, well, too warm. Today's weather. I mean, I've, uh, I mean, I think... 10 degrees it... plus, 20, 30... 20... 20 degrees plus is is warm for me i feel like i'm i'm warm uh, yeah. but i mean since i also know a lot of way way warmer weather it's oh like yeah, yeah. You have some anything South anything America. above mm. 20 degrees is still warm for me yeah oh. but uh under 20 degrees is like ah uh, it's 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 comfortable you know below then 15 be at least 20 for then, me. It, then it's like Okay, now now it's getting a bit chilly. Twenty is where it starts for me, and then it's like when it yeah. goes over thirty into the thirty fives, it's like yeah, it's getting pretty warm now. Yeah, yeah, like and pretty much all of the Netherlands is complaining. Then like ah, I'm dying of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yeah, this is okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not great with. Uh, I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm better at handling cold weather than I am at handling warm weather, oh. but I still love warm weather. And I mean, I'll just like handle it by going swimming. I'll just jump in water and be like, <laughs> I'll just stay in here for now. <laughs> I'll just mm. be swimming all day. Okay. That's nice. nice it's cool good. ocean. Oh, uh, well, nice. not just ocean. Like uh, here on the island, I'd go to one of the quarries, like the old quarries. They fill oh, the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And go swimming there. You could just hang out there all day. That's awesome. Because it's like sweet water as well, so you don't have to like shower off when you get home because it's, I mean, it's clean. <laughs> it's nice. We like. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's so many quarries. Which there is probably so many oh, quarries here. It's the it's best awesome. part about this island because uh, it's basically yeah. the biggest export Quarry has islands. been um, limestone. It's called in English. Mm. Um, yeah. Which is kalk in Swedish. Um, yeah. So what 
they have done all fucking all over the whole fucking island mm -hmm. just randomly like oh let's dig like i don't know let's I, dig here <laughs> 200 meters in diameter and just make a perfect <laughs> swim tub <laughs> so that yeah. people can just bathe in thank you man that sounds oh. amazing then like, yeah okay we're okay. bored with this spot now we'll fill it with water so people can swim in it yep. and then we'll start a new dig zone somewhere else yep. and then they start a new one and do the same thing okay yep. I'm, 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 like, just look, like... I'm just looking at uh, the google maps now <laughs> yeah see random white spots filled with like, yeah. swimming pools <laughs> yep yep they are like really yep. and there's a lot of them <laughs> It's awesome. It's fucking amazing. There's a I lot know. of them. This is a tour this is like wow. the best tourist island ever. Like, oh, this really? is a perfect square. I don't think this is man made, is it? Hmm. This is like, oh, what's this white square doing? Oh, and there's yeah. a perfectly smaller square with water filled hole yep. in it. Yep. Hmm. I find That's nice. Special. It's nice. I mean put in some stairs, perfect. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's usually slanted in on one side and then there's a cliff on oh, the other side. So it's like yeah. on the one side you can walk in and the other side you can jump from the cliff because it's Ooh. way on the cliff side. It's very nice. Yeah. Usually. So you can like, you can jump <laughs> usually. because it will, it, will be, it will be like, okay, if you have the one place where there's like a two, three meter cliff on the one side, it's like mm. seven, oh. eight meters deep on that side as well. So you're like, oh, wow. you can jump, no problem. Yeah. I think <laughs> this one was man-made as well. The one I'm looking at right now. I might be wrong because it's very old. Uh, Blue Lagoon. No, Blue Lagoon. Actually, I think of... it's... Oh yeah, yeah, that's also man-made. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it's man-made. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very beautiful. It's very, it's very blue. Not... It's too far too popular, so you don't go there. But it's very beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's it's really nice but you do not go there during the no. summer because they, it, oh. it is like a, it is like a chaos there yeah. it is it is insane it's, how it's much like people a chinese swimming and, pool yeah no Wait, it what? is actually it, it yeah it is like a chinese have you seen the what movies of the chinese no, no, a chinese, a chinese so swimming people. pool is basically a swimming pool where you don't <laughs> see the water because yeah. there's so oh, many Chinese oh, people in no. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, <laughs> you no. Oh, no, you're see... right! No, it, is is this? Horrible. it is horrible. Oh, this, yeah, this is where people die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get, like, pushed down and it's horrible. That's... that's... Mm. Oh, God, I've seen one of these in Denmark, but, like, mm. oh, God. And they had a wave machine as well. Shit yeah, went wrong. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's Just look horrible. at that shit. Oh, oh my God. God. And here... It's it's horrible, but that's it's... like what it is there at the Blue Lagoon sometimes in summer, yeah. and and it's like the parking chaos that becomes there as well is insane. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I don't know why they don't just fix like buses that actually just go there, <laughs> like they do to to Knape in the in the other like tourist oh. place here, like for kids. They yeah. have buses that go from from in the middle of Visby out to there, so you don't have to take your own car. Yeah, because basically everywhere here on the island, the the Transport public transportation system is horrible. It is worthless. <laughs> but mm. why don't we just fix a bus that goes out to the Blue Lagoon? I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> Might be but something no. that they're not allowed to own it because it's probably like a animal or yeah, nature preservant know. thing, and they're like ah, ah like it's probably yeah, thing. yeah, there's probably <laughs> a lot of just re. Okay, so so you yeah. you just said Blue Lagoon, so that yeah. reminded me of my holiday in Malta, where oh. we actually went on a uh, um what do you call it? a boat tour, like around the island a bit. Oh, that sounds and nice. And they uh, you actually sailed into an mm. a kind of a cave or or like half open oh. cave. It was super blue water, and it was called Blue Lagoon. Oh, super that's awesome! Super beautiful. Nice. That sounds nice. Like I did actually, uh, when my mom came to, to Asia for that trip, uh, she was like, okay, so the one thing we have to do is mm -hmm. we have to go see the Bond Island. Oh, in, 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 yeah, the Bond Island, you know, that one that looks like a, a tooth that's just sticking down into the water? No. Everyone knows that island. No. It's, oh, search for Bond Island. I'm search searching. Search Bond for Island me. and you will see. Oh, no, it, yeah. they found it. James Bond Island is actually yeah, called yeah. that. Oh yeah, fuck it off! Yeah, it's, it's no way! It is. 
It's the yeah. Villa Pilots. Yeah. Oh, you're it's so right. James Bond. They have it. They have it in a James Bond movie, and it's like super duper famous. And they usually people do that like photoshops with that island. They put like a yeah. castle or some shit on top of it and oh, that's stuff. Cool. I have pictures from that island. Yes. It is, is so. It, is it like the cool. satellite? It is which so cool. Is I'm look. I'm thinking that too. Which one is it? I don't. No, it's gold. It's it gold and I. Yeah, but my mom loves Bond. Uh, loves Bond, so yeah. Um, that it, it is not that expensive to go to, what? and you go like it's a day. It's a day trip from uh, from Phuket. Uh, you went like first with a bus to a place, and then with a really nice little boat. Yep. They'd like, uh, we'd like go through uh all of these islands and stuff that were there and we actually went like one island had like a cave that you could go all the way through so it was just like the the, the island had eroded away like little mountain had eroded away so it was oh. like a hole all the way through the the island it was so cool so we went under that it was really nice and we saw the fishes and yeah we get to that island you get off on the other side mm -hmm. and there's like this little harbor thing kind of with a bunch of people that are selling like touristy crap <laughs> and, yep. and then you go over the, to the other side and that's the island though so everyone's standing there on the beach taking pictures with the island in the background and uh, it's that's really nice. nice you can like walk around the island as well and yeah so it's good. really really nice. nice so that that we did it was so cool it's awesome. <laughs> totally worth it totally awesome. worth it can recommend definitely it was a really nice like day trip and then we went back and we went to like it was like a city that was floating on the water so it had uh like, oh yeah, shops yeah, yeah and and uh food places and stuff so we stopped there for for us to be able to go get some food and stuff or buy more crap because they always <laughs> want to sell stuff yep. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. and then we and then they dropped us off back like pretty late which was good i mean it was a whole day and it was awesome it's nice yeah, and dude, I just, I keep thinking about my traveling, and I it just gets hmm. worse. Why? I have this, dude. I I I actually I guess I per, on purpose have forgotten a lot of these things because we went to no. like the nicest place I've been with my family uh, was to uh. Thailand. It was really really nice. Uh. Uh, we were there for two weeks, just enjoying everything and just swimming mm. and mm. being in the sun and eating a lot of crisps and iced tea and just having a mm. badass time. And we found a really yeah. nice little nice. restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. That was like super small, and we were all, almost the only customers. Okay. They were really, really nice, really nice people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They usually are. Uh, and then we, I don't know, I, I, I bought some some uh, pirated Pokemon games. That was pretty funny. <laughs> they made their own okay. version. <laughs> It was it was really strange, and they had they hadn't finished the game, so you got to a certain point, and then it crashed because there was nothing after it, and then the game oh, reset, wow. and you lost all the Pokemon, and you could play over again. <laughs> it was it was what a trash game. It was a trash game. It was pretty fun though. Um, Just half yeah, the game. <laughs> we leave we leave Thailand. Um, we and we were at a place called Phuket. We were yeah, Phuket, we got yeah. back but that for is like Thailand. yeah yeah we were back for like a month or something. Um, and then mm -hmm. there was a tsunami warning. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, um, so where we visited, uh, has, was in, exactly in the blast zone. It is completely no. wiped out, and anything we have visited is now gone. Oh my god. Um, wow. Yeah, the, if we would go back now, nothing would be the same. Because, yeah, it is, it got, it got yeah, they demolished. Had, they had to, like, uh, rebuild everything. Yeah. It got it got completely gone. Um, mm. Wow! Yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of the um, big big yikes. Yeah, it was big yikes. Actually, that whole tsunami stuff that was, happened there it was very big yikes. It was it was it's a very nice, very nice place. Very nice people, but yeah, they. I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. Let's let's hope they they found some money or they had an elephant nearby because yeah. apparently all the elephants survived at the zoo. Cuz they just, what? Just, they, just, <laughs> they just screamed for like a week before. They're like, "No! No!" <laughs> they just got, yeah. went crazy and they, they knew. They knew. Yeah, exactly. They're like, "Release the elephants." And the elephants like, "Dude, come with me." Dude, dude, just dragging people. Dude, come with me. <laughs> And just went up the mountains like, oh, a tsunami oh, came. Okay. We're fine. Well, that's good then. Oh well, then I they mean... came back. Well, 
<laughs> we own this island now. <laughs> it's the animals else. are very in tune with nature, you know? So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. They know shit. I guess so. Okay. Well, uh, so guys, I had a couple of uh, this versus that questions. Okay, I'm ready. I'm so ready. I was thinking, I was thinking we can, uh, we can like try and uh, try and decide which one we're for and which one we're against, and you know, see if we can decide upon which is actually the best way of traveling. Get them ready. Uh, so the first one then, uh, warm versus cold. Warm. Traveling warm. to a warm country just Deep. to like lie on the beach and chill out, or going to a cold country to go skiing or you know stuff like that. Dude, real talk. Do we need to leave hmm. Sweden nowadays? Because it's so fucking warm here anyway that I feel like I'm getting heat stroke. <laughs> 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 no, I mean we get like the best, the best Come of on. both worlds. I feel like we we get uh, we get snow in the winter and and warm in That's the true. summer. So I feel That's like true. we we get both. But, like like it's you know, it's it's yeah. I just want to point out, Chuck. It's twenty degrees in the shade without with clouds. Yeah, today. I need it I need warm. to I need to specify this, Chuck. <laughs> mm. It's twenty yeah, degrees it warm with no sun. <laughs> Like yeah. today or like the warmest today, today. yeah. Today, yesterday oh. was like twenty five degrees uh, with oh, the sun. God, I'm, it I'm was so warm dude. as fuck. It's not cold. It's not cold, dude. Like uh, I'm, I, I I'm was, gonna plan was... my fucking holiday for dude, tomorrow. Dude, fuck. just <laughs> just get over here. It's probably cheap as fuck. There's a boat from Germany to this <laughs> island specifically. Direct, yeah. <laughs> direct boat. Direct, direct boat from. <laughs> yep. You will be sketched. It's pretty. It's pretty nice here right now. From Lubeck. Right? <laughs> the question Probably. was, guys, Looks warm like or it. cold? What, uh, what, uh, what kind would you prefer? I, 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 okay. Yeah, I would take warm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna specify it a little bit more because not okay. just laying on the beach, warm weather. Also, like city mm. tripping or just going through nature or stuff like that. I prefer warm. Yeah, same. I've, I've lived in okay. a lot of cold places in my life. Yeah. Cold is not for me vacation. That is. Like, okay, real talk. I want the middle of the road because I like um, hiking. Uh, yeah. And when you hike, you don't yep. want it to be really, yep. you don't want it to be very cold. You don't want it to be very warm. You want it to, to be yeah. in the middle but so not... you can put yes. on and remove layers. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like thinking if you had to pick between going to going skiing or going to literally like uh, a warm ass country where it's like really warm and all you basically do is lie on the beach. Spain. Or... Like, like if those those are your mm. options. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I said I say I, warm. Yeah, I said okay. warm. Okay, I I would prefer warm, but I would would like to go skiing maybe sometime. Yeah. Just see what the fuck it is and if it's <laughs> any fun. You wanna hear? Do you wanna hear it more is of really, my? Really, really fun. You wanna hear more of my travels? I have another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's it's another. Is it, uh, it's another bad one. Accident, pl plaster flight. Uh, yeah, you you might you might have struck in something on the, on the head there. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Uh, I went up. I, this, I'm so fucking depressing on my traveling. This is why I don't travel, I guess. Uh, we went up to. <laughs> but you um, need to make it better, dude. No, dude. You need to make it better. It's not, it's not worth it. I will tell you why. <laughs> so when we went up north to uh, uh, one of the like ski resorts with uh, with the family yeah. and some friends. Okay. I've I've uh -huh. been skiing for a bit, like maybe a few years, not not that much, because I've lived Ooh. on the island. Most of my childhood, experience. I got some experience. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, we're going up to the mountains. Cool, mm -hmm. let's do some skiing. I'm like, okay, and I go with uh, one of the the only like kid in my age has been skiing for like his whole year. He's like done oh. almost competition and shit. Like he is, he's a veteran. Oh, he knows That's what like he's a, doing. It's like a pro, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he's okay. like, and, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I, I'm aiming on one of the like the the coward coward slopes because that is basically yeah, what i prefer yeah. and he's like yeah. now if you don't do the black one you don't even ski i'm like oh no and i was like 40 year old alistar i'm like the group pressure is real i guess we oh, take no. i guess we take the black one oh, and, he, God. and he's taking oh, that's your own that's your own fault dude, he's taking the slopes like a fucking pro like going right to left dude i had mm. one style it was straight down that straight was my down, style. No breaks, I had yeah. one one style was straight down. In the middle of the thing, I'm like, this is super fun. And then at the end where it like stops and uh, mm -hmm. it's time mm -hmm. to get up on, uh, like you, you turn right at the end of the slope to get up on okay. the lifts so you can go up again. Yeah. 
to get back. Um, <laughs> the only problem is at the bottom, um, it was like there was like a landing strip too, so to say, like there was a slow down strip, but it wasn't very long. Yeah. Um, and at yeah. the end of the strip was just a couple of boulders and then a cliffside. Oh god! Like fifty meters almost straight down. Oh. Okay. And I went full speed because when you when you got to that last uh, little slope, uh, there was like there was a bump, so you had to go over a bump and then you got over um, to the to the last slope. So I got. Full speed yeah. over the bump, did a tiny jump, and I'm like, already mid there, then see, oh shit, oh shit, I it's ending, <laughs> it's ending, <laughs> and I just, that was the first time I started to learn how to uh, uh, do the, the slalom, like going left to right, because I had to try, um, mm -hmm. but I was already going like max speed, like there was, there was no way that would work, mm -hmm. and I was slowly losing control, because I was slightly panicking, um, and I just kind of like threw myself on the, on the mm -hmm. snow and rolled yeah. all the way to the edge yes. and then stopped. That's probably the best way. Oh my god. That was... So um, that is, that is the story how I'm scared of skiing. <laughs> god. So that is why you take classes, okay? I, t I had taken classes. That's why you go down the new I had... hill. <laughs> that is why you don't fall into pre peer pressure and you start by like going down the easier slopes and getting the hang of it and then you go the hard ones okay, okay. Mewish, Mewish, do you want to know I, what I'm i did in the classes do you can you guess what i did <laughs> not pay attention I, I, whatever the fuck you wanted i went straight down at all. i went straight down and listen at all Oh my god. Did You're like my little brother. He did the exact same thing. Oh, they were I... like, okay, so uh, worst case scenario, you do the plow, okay? So you like point your toes no. in towards and then you plow just to stop yourself. That is my incorrect. My little brother was like, how do you do that? And just went straight down. Exactly. And I was like, um... Exactly. It's fucking hard. I think they explained explain it, they explain oh it better god. on South Park. Oh? It's done french fries. <laughs> <laughs> French fry? Oh, dude, we just call French it the pizza. Speed what? And pizza is like when you pizza. exactly pizza. <laughs> pizza slices. French fries. Pizza oh, French God. fries. <laughs> oh, Fucking God. South Park knows better. <laughs> they're oh, smart. Oh my God. They're, they're smart. They smart. <laughs> oh. They smart. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I want to go down the black uh, slope once. Yes. You should. You should. It's a good experience if you Probably want to scream. Probably not in this life, but... Yeah. I did go up and do a bit no, more but skiing, it's, but... It's fun. Yeah, I, I was traumatized. I, I've never skied God. after that. I'm good. You, you were still on the adrenaline. I was, I was. It was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake. But it's so much fun, though. Is it, though? Someone My died problem... last week from that. I'm, I'm good. My problem is, like, I, I literally cannot ski anymore because... Oh. Uh, I cannot wear the the sh the like the shoes that you need to have. Yeah. Because my feet start hurting so much. No. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 They're they're like they are so hard. You they can are. literally not move your feet yep. at all. That's the point. And Oof. yeah, that's the whole point. And I wish I could wear them, but I cannot. It, it is uh, the shape of them just does not work for my feet. And it hurts to the point where I like last time, the last time I actually went skiing with my mom, I could not go down the entire slope. I had to stop mid slope mm. and like take them off because I felt like my my feet were literally breaking inside yeah. of them. Yeah, it hurt so much. Like my brain was screaming, like take them off, take them off, take them off right now, or I will literally snap off the legs <laughs> just to not feel this mm. pain anymore. That's you fun. know, and that sucks. It sucks so fucking hard. So and did you I rent them? Being... Yeah, we had to rent. Dude, that's the fucking problem. No one buys them, like, for their own, because they're either you're too small so you're going to grow out of them in, like, a year, yeah. or they're yeah, so expensive that it's like, fuck it, we'll just rent it, and then you never find yeah. a pair that suits you. <laughs> fucking sucks. No, but you, you rent. I mean, unless you actually go, like, every year and you are finished growing, you rent. I mean, but the thing is, like, the... The place where we went, actually, they were so nice because uh, we went there, we rented the stuff, we went up. I managed to go get down again, like, yeah. literally. I had to sit for a while and just wait for my feet to, like, normalize enough for me to, to be able to put them on again and just go down the goddamn hill. Uh, 
And then we went back to the place right away and we were like, no, I can't do this. I can't actually use them. And they were like, oh, shit. Uh, do you want to switch to something else? Uh, uh, so I did snowboarding that time for the first time in my life. That's cool. And that was so much fun because the shoes you wear with snowboards, they're like wider and a different shape. And oh. they're actually softer as well. Yeah. Why? So why? Just, oh. why would they? Mm. Wait, that, mean, that makes no different. sense. I don't know, but th they are way nicer and I can actually wear those. And snowboarding is so much fun. It is terrifying because your feet are stuck on the same board. You can't actually move them. But oh. it is so much fun. <laughs> awesome, dude. Awesome. So, yeah, I did that. Wow. That was that was a lot of fun. So it was still worth it. <laughs> hashtag no regrets. Well, slight regrets, hashtag but hashtag no, no regrets. regrets. No hashtag regrets. snowboarding no for life. Regrets. <laughs> it was so much fun, but it would take me years to actually figure out how to snowboard uh, well you oh, know God, i mean yeah. i was i was going down like the kiddie slope uh and, and stopping fair. every every couple of meters because mm. holy shit balls i didn't want to die that's a good idea <laughs> that's a good I idea mean, i i didn't i didn't want alistar so i <laughs> how dare you it's a lifestyle oh, it's a very short mean. lifestyle that's, but, that's, it is, well, but it is your lifestyle it's like uh die young leave a pretty corpse you know whatever I'm, i was never um, pretty but i would have died young yep <laughs> i'll take it Nah, so I I just uh, I just did the easy, uh, but it was so much fun. It really was yeah, totally good. worth it. And the and the time I went like uh, to Zalamse in in Hungary, it was amazing. The skiing there was so much fun. But as I said, that was when I was younger as well. So that was before I had so much problems with my feet, so I could actually ski, which is nice. <laughs> I see. Good old. That was also uh that that's like a fun thing, fun fact. That was the year that the Hey Baby uh song came out on the radio and they played it everywhere. I, what what song? Um Don't play it. No. <laughs> Is it by No I Doubt? It. Uh, no, it's a Hey baby. Ooh. Oh, that was Wait, how old are know. you? Oh, oh, if you'll be my girl. How old the... are you? Wait, what? what? That... That was when I was a kid. That song became like the biggest fucking shit. This that is from '87. No, not the original. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> fucking hell. That the the new time the summertime remix, <laughs> right? That they did like, and that was like, it became like the biggest thing then for whatever reason, and they were playing it everywhere. And it was really fun because as as kids we didn't really one hundred percent understand what the hell they were singing about, so we just thought it was funny that they said "Ooh ah," and everyone did like, you know, hip thrusts when they did that, of course. Mm. So you know, that was Rem fun. Remembers the Venga Boy song "Boom Boom"? <laughs> I want you in my oh, room. Oh that was, yeah, the Venga Boy song. Everyone in big like, thing then as well. Like school Ugh. just sang along with that. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yeah, the, that was like the same kind of version of the song as mm -hmm. the Venga Boys. Mm -hmm. And it was it was so popular. That was damn. That was fun though. Honestly. <laughs> so you definitely prefer cold. <laughs> no, I don't I don't know actually, but like the travels I've had when it's been to cold weather have been so nice. I mean I have such wonderful memories about it. Uh, but like, if I had to pick now, uh, seeing as how I have problems skiing, mm. um, I would probably pick going to a warm climate, anyways. Cool. Because, yeah, I love the I love the ocean so much too. I mean, I I could live in the ocean, which is why I burnt the literal crap out of myself when yep. I was in South Africa. Yep. You know, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was that was a good time. See, dude, on further yeah. inspection, I think my answer will be none of the above. I will not travel. Because wherever I go, disaster strikes. <laughs> some oh, some have been my on. fault. Some have been my fault. I'm going to be honest here, but <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> okay, so do you want to know the worst travel I did that I still don't regret at all? That was my Asia travel that I went. I went with my friend and she promised me she wouldn't leave me there. Uh, she ended up leaving me there. Cause, oh, good. Uh, I got uh, pretty sick, like my stomach got extremely upset. I was really, really, really homesick because uh, oh. I'd never traveled without my family or anyone uh, like that before. I um, 
my phone got stolen. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So that was fun. Uh, and you know, like I was, I was so freaking homesick, and my stomach was just not working at all. So I could barely eat at all. Mm. Um, I, um, I just plain old didn't feel very good. <laughs> That's fair. And then I got like, then I got like a severe heat stroke. So I was out for like a really long time as oh, well. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. That's when uh, you took your phone. Mm hmm. Uh, no, that that was actually oh. bef that was after they take my phone. They took my phone pretty early in the trip. Mm. Ah, nice and, of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Uh, so she uh, nice to carry. she actually met someone else she wanted to travel with more than she wanted to travel with me. So she was like, "Yeah, so this person is more fun. I'm gonna oh, what? I'm oh gonna fuck go... off! <laughs> wow, I'm gonna go travel with this one instead." And I was like. Thanks. Oh, oh, okay. I uh, guess I understand that. I, I'll just. Uh, 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 um, okay. Goodbye uh, forever. So I was, I was eighteen, uh, and panicking on the beach on Langkawi, which is an island off the coast of, uh, just between uh, Malaysia and uh, Thailand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's great. <laughs> mm. Um. Then I went to... I was also, by that time, I was getting an ear infection as well. This is getting better. I so feel I, yeah. I feel at home yeah. now. I finally feel like we've connected somewhere. <laughs> so I, I like... Is that I had, Swedish thing? <laughs> no, I, like, my, my oh, ears God. were hurting. I could barely sleep because of it. Oh. So I slept, like, really, really bad. And the whole reason I had an ear infection was because... She would snore like a freaking truck driving through the bedroom, mm. and I couldn't sleep without having earplugs in. Mm. And having earplugs in all the time gave me an ear infection. Yeah, yeah. So especially in a warm climate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a warm climate, uh, ear infection. Yeah, it was kind of. Yeah, no, it it wasn't Sounds good. great. Sounds um, good. So I went to Phuket and I got there and I was going to go to the hospital and I was going to pick up like my uh, toiletries bag out of my big backpack bag. Yeah. Uh, and then it felt funny when I tried to pick it up and I realized mm. I had uh, like sliced off a piece of my thumb on a razor. Ah. Yeah. Good. Perfect. You don't need, yeah. need that anyway. I did. I mean, no phone, no phone to press. You know, Blood, blood everywhere. Uh, oh, in like a very, very nice, nice white mm. hostel. Broken uh, heart. Just in the morning, you know. Oh. And like nobody's. I I met like a cleaning lady, and she only sp spoke like Thai. She didn't understand English even. Oh good. Uh, the full panic. It was it was a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> glad you enjoyed like, yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you know, a, a white girl just runs out of her room, slight ah! panic, blood everywhere, blood running from her from her mouth as well. Because my first instinct was, oh god, put it in your me, mouth. Put it in your mouth. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Uh, it it filled filled up with blood in like 0.03 seconds, um, and I had to try and swallow it. And you know, it, it a lot it gets of blood. Even better. Like swallowing yeah. a, a mouthful of blood is not great. Yeah. Uh, so I was like kind of green in my face, uh, kind of whitish in my face with blood coming from my lips and and blood all, running all over my arm and like gushing from my thumb and she didn't understand what i was saying <laughs> and i was just like uh need band-aid something and she's like holy shit what the fuck pretty much so get out of here get out of here the cops <laughs> And like pulled me down into like the the common room, which is the thing in hostels where oh, everyone God. was like sitting and chilling in the living room, just watching a movie. And she's like screaming in Thai. And I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck. She's white saying. woman she's, like, dying. White woman dying. If she's screaming, it's probably she's, good. She's <laughs> trying to find some sort of like uh, alcohol or something to pour on the wound to like sterilize it a oh, bit. Oh God. And, uh oh. like patch me up enough so i could go to the freaking hospital uh well you survive can we so i went yeah I can went we to the hospital <laughs> can, we that was fun. can we think about your your friend for a second here that thought you were yeah. boring this is the most interesting shit i've ever heard she missed this part <laughs> exactly missed this part. you're lost girl you lost You're this lost. shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All of the 
excitement. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, oh, so um God. that was fun. I went to the uh um to the hospital uh on on one of those motorcycle uh cab things. Actually, the whole time I was there, I didn't see a single abs- accident, which is wonderful. That's impressive. Because uh, a lot of people mm. see accidents when they go there, but I didn't. I didn't get to see a single one, and I'm like, yes, nice, awesome, thank you. Yes. Uh, but so that was a win. Uh, when oh. I get to the hospital, <laughs> well, my uh, they force me, like literally, have to force me into a wheelchair, and I'm like, I can walk. I no. hurt my thumb, and I have an ear infection. I can walk, and they're like, no, sit. You can't walk, <laughs> woman. Listen to me! Okay. okay, I will sit. Sorry. Jeez. Pretty much. Um, so they shoved me into a wheelchair. Uh, good. I, good. Meet this, I meet this guy. He's Swedish because, you know, Phuket is like one of the most Swedish places you can get to that's not in Sweden. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's like, oh, uh, what's wrong? And I'm like, uh, I have an ear infection. Uh, and then... I kind of sliced my thumb a little bit this morning, so I thought maybe we could just patch that up as well. And he's like, oh, okay, 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 okay. That's so good. So uh, we'll start with the ear infection. So he sends me up to this place, and the, they wheel me in the goddamn wheelchair, and I feel like retarded because I'm like, dude, I, my legs work. <laughs> I don't have to be in this. <laughs> and they just won't let me walk. And I'm like, That's <laughs> fair. That's fair. You might have... I've lost a yeah. lot of blood. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's just ridiculous, and I feel ridiculous kind of si- sitting in this thing. And God. they get me there. She takes me in, checks me out, gives me like uh, some eardrop thingies that I have to take. And she's like, "You're not allowed to bathe, and you also get these painkillers, and you're not allowed to be in the sun." And I'm like, "Oh, well, oh, fun. I'm in Asia. Perfect." <laughs> mm. I'm like, "Okay, great, uh, cool." Uh, and then they're like, oh, okay, so you wanted to check out your thumb as well? Will you, will you, can you sit down back in the in the freaking wheelchair? And I'm like, I'm not sitting in the fucking goddamn wheelchair again. And they're like, fine! <laughs> so she, like, rushes off, and she's like, follow me! And she just, like, bolts, her, like, I'm fucking out, dude. bolts away. She's, like, running away from me. And I'm, like, just trying to fucking keep up with this little Thai lady who's pissed off at me because I won't sit in the wheelchair anymore. <laughs> That's her best part of her day, is so, wheeling like, people around. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Keep rolling, Weird. Rolling. So she's like, oh. runs off into the other side of the goddamn place. And then she gets there, and then she's like, okay, you can sit down here. And I'm like, okay, sorry, jeez, okay. So I sit down, and they take me in, and they're like trying to peel off this uh, bundle of paper and stuff that we've put on my thumb. And she looks at it for like half a second, and she's like, oh, shit. I'm like, what? Well, we're going to have to cauterize this wound. It's not going to stop bleeding. I'm like, what? Yeah, you've cut off some artery, tiny oh. artery thingies in there, and they're not going to stop bleeding. It's, it's like, not going to stop. We have to oh. cauterize them. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, With oh. electricity. That's nice, at least. We're oh. going to have to burn your thumb, yep. is what we're saying. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm like, mm, excuse me? <laughs> Nani? I put in mouth? This, this work like, better? Just, just, just put some band-aid on no no can't do no okay kiss boo boo then band it do we have a fireplace so here like, which is okay. common <laughs> remember remember how i just got left in thailand a yep. place that is completely foreign to me so fucking yep. far away from everything i know yep. and i am now alone here i i just had to like go through all of this shit so i'm not like very emotionally stable at no. this point no uh, and they're telling me that I have to take out all my earrings and any sort of metal that may be on my body <laughs> because they're going to have to burn me with electricity. Like, this is fine. Shock therapy. Yep. Uh, and then Accent they're like, kidnap. okay, lie down on this gurney thingy. Uh, and then Good. they come towards me Good. with the biggest needle I have ever seen in my life. Mm. Wait, what? Like, what was the needle yeah. for? Well, they're going to burn my thumb, so obviously they have to numb it first. Hmm. So that's like a huge needle with like uh well I I don't what 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 do you want to call it uh catheter or an anesthetic yeah. stuff yeah, yeah. but not like to to actually put me on under just to like numb my, like paralyze no yeah not paralyze, like my my uh, thumb like and stuff yeah. it was Fuck. I hate needles. 
I don't like I don't like like you know getting re regular tetanus shots. Yeah, was party horrible. size needles aren't great. Mm, and they no. that one was like huge, and she's gonna put it straight into the wait my thumb in the thumb. Straight, wait, wait, yeah, wait, it like, was bigger it, than the thumb. Wait, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh. You know, it was a big needle, okay. and they're putting it like into my thumb, uh. like on on the on the pad of my thumb where I touch things, where mm. you have a lot of sensitivity, they're putting mm. a huge needle straight into that. Mm. Sounds amazing. I am not joking when I say they had three Thai women nurses <laughs> holding my arm. Three. <laughs> three women had to hold and force my arm down so I wouldn't oh, jank God. it away. They're, they're like one meter tall, I'm seeing as well. They're basically well, me yeah, they're so around they're, you, tiny, I mean, they're tiny little Thai women. But still, like, I <sighs> by that point, I was, you know, I was crying and asking, like, why the fuck is this shit happening to me? Where is my mommy? Pretty much at that point, mommy. I was, I was like, that's fair. This, this is this isn't happening. That's fair. What dude. is going on? They're forcing me into this room, and they are going to take advantage mm -hmm. of me with needles. Right? I'm actually <laughs> kidnapped. <laughs> and I'm like. Uh, oh. Okay. Those were and not then, the needles you were And then before. they're like, they put this clamp on the bed and the, for, for like... Uh, oh, to ground it, yeah. Yeah, the wow. grounding on the bed. What? Uh, How much electricity like, was it? What the fuck are they... Okay, they I'm kidding. kidding. I, could feel, I, could, I could feel the buzz in my arm. Dude, dude. I literally could feel the buzz in my arm. Yeah. But dude, I have been, I've been cauterized as well with electricity. I wasn't fucking grounded to the floor and the bed. <laughs> I... I... I don't fucking know, what but it's scary shit. And they they like burnt like three little three little points in in my thumb. Uh huh. Three points they had to burn because I had apparently because I like sliced it like on a cheese slicer, you know. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So it was like yeah. Uh, I have pictures of this if anyone wants to see. <laughs> yes, is there yes. blood? We would like yes. to. <laughs> Slight blood, yes. Oh, uh, I'm ready. You still I, didn't, I, I, I was so sh I was so shaken that day, so I didn't actually bring my camera for for the first uh, this first meeting. I only bought yeah. it for the two times I had to come back to clean the wound and check. Oh, that it was mine. okay. I was Yo. wondering, like, you you sounded so a bit too two. stressed out to take photos. Yeah, no, I was, I was, mid operation. No. Uh, oh, so God. like after they after they cauterized my wound and everything, and I was lying there crying like I'd just been raped yeah. by fifty. Yeah, exactly. Guys. I would uh, I would feel the same. Know, I was kind of lying there. Yep. Uh, and they were like, so by the way, have you had a tetanus shot? And I was like, what the fuck is tetanus? I do. I and guess I could, do now. And they could not, and they could not for the life of them freaking figure out how to say tetanus in Swedish, even with the translator there. And, mm. and I was just like, I, I don't, I don't fucking know. And they just were like, okay, we'll just, we'll just give, give you one just yeah. for safety. So they that bring out good. another needle and stick that in that arm as well. So Perfect. I just got that in my right arm, yep. which was also horrible and hurt a lot. And I was Great. like, dude, that was actually worse than the other fucking needle. I hate needles. Uh, Great. Yeah. You know, and, like, and, I, and you know, I was, I was lying there <laughs> and they were like, do you want help to put your earrings back in? And I was like, fucking yeah, because I'm not going to be able to now that I don't have a fucking thumb anymore. <laughs> Another needle! No! I have needles in my ears! So she, this, li this little Thai lady helped. She, she took out the earrings. Now she helped me put them back in again as well. And I was like... I was just lying there, you know, silently sobbing. Uh, by that point, I was getting like to the point of dead face. I, I, didn't, I didn't have emotions left. And I was like, okay, are we are we done now? Yeah, and they bandaged up my thumb and they're like, okay, here, have some more painkillers and also... You're not allowed to wet your thumb. And also, um, you have to come back again next week to check. And I was like, Hell no. Of course, of course I do. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I'll, I'll see you. See you in a couple of days, and I, I guess. Okay. Bye. You know, kind of. I was, I was, by that point, I was just so fucking dead. So we went over to the, and that, that time I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna walk. I'll sit in your goddamn wheelchair. So she got me, wheeled me over to the place where I could get out my prescriptions. <gasps> got and a then, wheelchair! And, then, and, and then she was so happy she could me. wheelchair you around. <laughs> yeah, and then she wheeled me out to the front door and I was like, you know what, I'm not getting on a fucking bike this time, I'm taking a full-on cab. So I went to one of the actual, like, 
cars and was like, you drive me to this place. Great. It cost me like a hundred baht more than the, than the bike yep. would have done. But yep. I was like, just so happy to sit in an air conditioned car by that point. That is, that's I was fair. Like, I was dead inside. I was dead. That is, no, that and is I was fair. like, I get back, I get back to the, to the hostel and just, just tripping over my own feet, trying to walk in. I lie on my bed and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Hmm. What the hell? Did... The actual fuck. <laughs> I feel like, I, I was... feel like, I feel like crying in a hospital is fucking standard. I'm not gonna lie here. I, yeah. Like, so I fucking mean... emotional. It was it was great. I I had a good time. Uh, I'm glad. The thing is, I still don't gr- regret any of it. Like honestly, it's a great story, and I it's just funny. It's just funny. Like how many things can go wrong in one trip? Yeah, it- just just about that many actually. So then I had to spend two weeks on a hostel in Thailand, not going outside, not That's going to great. the beach, That's not great. not getting my my thumb wet or like uh, getting water in my ears because I had to keep putting like eardrops into my ears and I took strong painkillers that I weren't allowed to be in the sun and so I had to like basically chill. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Doing Ooh. nothing. The thing is, I got over my homesickness when I was there cuz I kind of felt really comfortable there and i met a bunch of cool people one of which i actually uh it was a new zealand woman showed up there and she was like uh so you want to do something so i actually went with her over uh to the beaches and went around like to different beaches with her just to like check it out it was really fun that's good. Uh, we didn't actually we didn't actually like stay and swim because I mean I told her like I can't I can't go in the water. And I can't I, be in the, sun, to stay in the sun actually. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like I had to like try and stay in the shade, but it was uh, fine. You know? Yeah, that's good. That's good. So yeah, Aww. it was cool. Dude, I was I was hoping <laughs> you were get... mom. Dude, why didn't I was hoping mom. you would get friends with the the Thai the Thai lady and you, she would just take oh. you in the wheelchair all around like that would oh, be the no, best. No, 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 not that Thai lady, oh. but. Uh, oh? One of the workers at the hostel became my Thai mom. <gasps> oh. Yeah, she was oh. like taking care of me at the hostel oh. and stuff. And she was like, "How's my little girl doing today?" Oh, la 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 la. She was, oh. and she's like, "Same age as my mom." And, I, and she was like, "Who was talking to her?" And she was like, "My Thai mom there." That's awesome. And, and then when my mom showed up, they were all like buddy buddy as well. <laughs> was really fun. She's like, "Oh my god, I get to meet your real mom." Oh, <laughs> yeah. Here, so, I was like, "This is so weird and really funny." <laughs> it was uh, no, it was great actually. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. That's I had a horrible good. time, and I don't regret a thing. <laughs> it was I'm glad it was for good. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite. Yes, let's go with that. Yes, I mean, could have been worse. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have N- to be nice and short story. Great. It doesn't have to be like a great vacation for it to be a great vacation, you know? No, but I'm glad <laughs> for you. Some, I got some good stories out of it, you know? That's, that's, it's that's fair. That's fair. It's fun. <laughs> that is that is good. Okay. Next question. So we've done we've done warm versus cold. Okay. Yep. So what do you prefer? Uh, a cheap flight that will take you a long time to get there? Or uh-huh. would you rather uh, pay more and uh, save time? Okay. The the, lo- so the just just the flights. Just the yeah, flight. like the, the flight to get to the destination. Would you would you rather? Th- there's like, an important distinction pay... we have to do as well. It's How does, far do you travel? Th- that is that that doesn't really matter. How many no. m- like l- landings do you have to do? Like, do you have to land like three <laughs> times in three different countries? I I don't know. That, that is that's that's kind of the thing. Probably. <laughs> <Well, laughs> like, let's just say like the cheap one. Yeah. You have to. You have uh, two stops. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh it's it's going to take you uh 30 hours to get to your destination. The expensive one has uh one stop and it's going to take you uh half the time to get to your destination. So 15 hours to get to your destination. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh you save um let's say uh Quick 200 math. euro. Oh, 200 the, euro? That's two, nothing. 200 euro. That's actually nothing, right? For that, that long of a, is like for a, like two, an extra uh, day of fucking yeah. traveling. Yeah, there's nothing. Mm. Yep. 
I'll take that. I'll take like I would honestly I would take anything that g gets me less layovers because that is actually the worst. Having to go off the plane because oh. I'm terrified mm. of flying. Wait for so, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay. landing and taking off is like okay, no, I'm let's good. Say, let's say you save five hundred euros then. It doesn't. It doesn't honestly, if I can afford it, I would I would pick it, but I probably couldn't. Then I probably wouldn't mm. travel either. So <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, layovers are because horrible. I, I mean, I, I've done good. I've done a lot of the things where where I've just been like, you know what? I don't I don't really mind time. Uh, I'd rather have the money on the destination because I know I have a limited amount of money. I'll take the money on the destination and do something fun there instead, like taking a diver's certificate or something like that. Mm. <clears throat> you know, for me, it probably depend on money because. Oh, I'm really? Dutch. <laughs> Dutch? Do you not care about yes, that? Dutch, well, Dutch great. Dutch great. You're, you're kind of close to everything too, so for you it's not that big of a problem, I guess. Yeah, okay, but if we put so like... I've done, have a, I've done have one, a budget. I've done one like huge flight, too. which was to America. So that's uh, like hmm. an eight hour trip to the uh, East Coast. Oh. And then after that we went to the West Coast, so that's an hour, another eight hours or something like that. Hmm. And then at the end, we went all the way back in like one day. So it was like a 16 hour trip with one transfer in between. Yeah. Oh, and it was God. half an hour transfer. It was like, get off, oh, that's a, that's get in line transfer. for the next plane. Yeah. 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 So that was ideal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's pretty damn long, but it's definitely worth it if you go to the right holiday. I mean, um, when I travel when I traveled to Asia, yeah. I had I had uh, like uh, a lot of hours on the airport in uh, Beijing. Uh huh. I think I had. Oh, no, I don't remember exactly, but like uh, way over ten hours Yikes. on that airport. Just perfect. Nothing. It's a really, really pretty airport, I can tell you. Uh, good. It's kind of cold, so so like if you're trying oh. to sleep, uh, you kind of end up being really, really cold. That's yeah. not what I expected from China. Um, no, but it was it was in winter time there as well. But you know, oh. like their air conditionings are always pretty extreme everywhere pretty in powerful. Asia. I mean, oh. you'd go in in thailand like you go into the 7-eleven and it would be mm. freezing in there and then you go outside and you like get hit by a wave of hot you Perfect. know oh god yeah so it was like hmm this is the ideal way of getting a cold <laughs> pretty yep. much yo yep. yeah life hack yep. um and you know in the cars they'd also have it like air conditioning was always on max cold and on freeze like, max, yep yeah <laughs> so <laughs> right like off. outside of out of outside fine. of the car is like an oven, inside of the car is a freezer. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like everything was that. Everything. Oh God. So it was no, oh, but it was cool. <laughs> I kind of I kind of learned to just go with shit. That's what I've learned most from the travels I've done. Like you just oh That's okay, good. well this is happening. Oh well, I just roll with it. <laughs> it's fine. I won't be wrong. China. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like oh, I lost my phone. Well, shit, that kind of sucked for a little while, and then the actual hostel manager he was so upset about the fact that I'd lost my phone in in their hostel, so he was like, "Oh, you remind me of my daughter. Please don't cry." And then he <laughs> gave me a phone. What? He gave me a phone. Yeah, no, he took he took me out to look at like the closest place where they sell like uh, stolen phones and shit, just to oh. see if my phone had showed up there, and then he would buy it back for me. Oh, uh, but wow. we didn't see it there, so he was like, "Oh my gosh, no! You need a phone." So he gave me a phone. Actually, wow. it wasn't like a fancy phone. No, 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 no. It was just like a little Nokia thing. iPhone five. Uh, but it, but it had it, fortune. It had like two two places for SIM cards as well because they always oh, have like one nice. for texting and one for calling and stuff. Oh, with the charger and everything. I still have oh. that phone. I've saved it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, so he gave it to me just so I could like have some sort of connection. That's uh, pretty dope. Yeah. I have pictures with them as well. They were really, really nice. Mm -hmm. That was in Kuala Lumpur. Beautiful city, by the way. And I could not go up on the goddamn bridge because that was closed for uh, reconstruction uh, and no. stuff. 
Yeah, it was the same thing when we were in Moscow. The Red Square was closed because they were <laughs> fixing shit up. So typical. We go to these places where there's one thing yep, that you yep. really want to see yep. and they're closed because they are fixing shit up. And I'm like, Gosh darn it. You, you kidding me? Oh, I, w I wanted to see Alcatraz. Oh, but we, uh, right. We, we, we actually um, checked out like two months in advance if we could mm -hmm. like uh, reserve mm -hmm. a tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything was full. Apparently, you have oh. to book it like a year in advance. Oh, fuck off. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck off. <laughs> That's that like, it's like, we were looking like, wait, everything's full. And then we're like, keep two going. Months later, still full. Another two months. Oh, there are the first free spots. Like, literally half a year in advance. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's insane. Everyone wants to go to jail. <laughs> well, I did go to Robben Island oh. in South Africa as well. I've gone there. That was pretty cool. I mean, it's like you get to go inside the cells and stuff and look. Damn, they did not have a nice thing there. <laughs> Damn, they had a fucked up time. Reminds me of they, my holiday. They had a pretty <laughs> fun time. But you get a beautiful view of Table Mountain from that, I gotta say. Like, oh. damn. Looking looking into Cape Town from Robben Island is beautiful. That view. Yeah. So, yeah, I've done that too. That's that's cool. <laughs> nice. You didn't die in your travels? That's a, that's a nice shout. I, have, I yep. haven't died yet, no. You still have most of your thumb? <laughs> I have the I have the most part of my thumb. I have a I have a like a scar, a part I guess. Where where I yeah like on the on the front of my thumb. Like if I it doesn't it doesn't have the same feeling as the rest of my thumb does anymore. And you know no. you, can, you can tell if you look at it that it's been so called tampered with. You see, you see like this little red dot there where the needle went in. <laughs> <laughs> Signed by the doctor. You don't see that you actually cut him. part of it off, but when a needle, <laughs> still a scar. Like... <laughs> no, like it, honestly, it work. wasn't. It wasn't actually like a big sore or something, which was why I got so like confused when they said they had cauterized it and crap. But it was because I'd like peeled off uh, like two layers because I went back when I like when I went yeah. back to the hostel after I'd been lying in bed for a while, just trying to you know regain some sort of composure. Um, I looked at my razor and I could like pick off two slices of my thumb from the razor. Uh, Perfect. Uh. I was like, oh, these are two little slices of my skin. Cool. This is two fine. slices of me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice and dried up and, you know. Ready blood, for uh, breakfast? Uh, Question mark? What? What do you want? I, I just like, want to mm. mention my thumb starts to hurt now. I didn't do anything to it. Oh, just, it's fine. It's... Phantom pain? It honestly, it honestly didn't even hurt that much. It was more like the panic of everyone else. Like, yeah, you r ruined the nerve. There's no feeling. Yeah, no, I, I, I cut you off You just got it clean up, yeah. yeah. That was a smart was play. That was a good play. Yeah, I mean, at least it was a, like, barely used razor. I mean, it was one of those cheap things that you buy for oh, traveling, you know? Right, yeah. So it only has, like, two or three blades, which is good, because, I mean, more blades feel like deeper... More, Maybe, more or, bloods? Or, uh, <laughs> more layers? <laughs> yeah, more more layers, more little slices for me. Yeah, you know? Perfect. But... <laughs> more 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 slices of sausage. Healthy. <laughs> okay, you actually did bloodletting, like you were trying to remove all the sickness from yourself. It was actually oh. a medical practice you did. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I did. I mean, yeah. I felt like maybe if I just let in, uh, let out enough blood, then yeah. maybe the ear infection will go again, yeah, go exactly. away, and I'll be that's just how it fine. Works. Yep. yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So they did in medieval times. You just remove mm -hmm. a bit of blood uh, and you will get healthy again. Don't worry about it. Oh, you mm -hmm. died from blood loss? Well, that's well, that's God's will. I mean, will. it's it's a mm. it's it's about a seventy percent chance of dying completely. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. It's mm. fine. Don't worry about it's it. It's a chance that you will survive. Yeah, sure. Big, big, big yikes. It's totally fine. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, next. question visiting people versus uh, going to like explore something like visiting uh, friends or relatives or something or would oh. you rather go like explore something new mm -hmm. i've never really done the first one so for me it's always the second one oh really I yeah really i mean know. I, I always i just go exploring just go some 
places or yeah, just which those, places have you explored whatever. like which places have you like um so i've been to malta so i've pretty much seen all of the islands mm -hmm. just like uh the little tiny island at the end of the boot of italy mm. the boot it kicks Malta out in the sea. Yep. <laughs> good, <laughs> Just look good. at the map, it's basically that. Yeah. But it was it's an amazing place. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little bit more dry climate. Uh, also with a with lot of cactus and stuff. But it's mm -hmm. it's pretty gorgeous. They have like uh, different um how do you say different eras when people conquered them. So they have like a lot of different building styles. Oh mm -hmm. that's cool. That's that's pretty cool. You see like That's all the cool. different uh, different people that took over. Like you see influence from this, from that. Yup, yup. Mm. I don't really remember which one, but... <laughs> <It's>... mm. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, let's see, I've been to Barcelona. Okay. Oh. That's uh, Spain. To the... Uh, what is it? The, uh, the Gaudi uh, uh, buildings. Mm-hmm. It's like a, an, an ancient architect had like a weirdest building style ever for that time. Cool. And now he's pretty famous. Yeah, mm -hmm. people are always famous, so that's, that's how it works. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> um, I already and it will be I've been through America, which I've um, I've been to New York uh, for like half a week. That's really cool. We did the, uh, the like the Manhattan Island. Uh, Mm -hmm. thingy where we saw like all the big things like the the, the what is it the stock uh, district wall street um the museum oh, the, like, right. the, the, the national museum yeah, of yeah. history which mm -hmm. is like where the, the declaration oh, of independence is that it also where, where the movie has been like they, uh, mm. hey, dum -dum and some gum gum <laughs> 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 all i remember from the movie oh, I don't care about the, <laughs> the monkey was also pretty good Oh, the monkey, yeah. The monkey was pretty good. What was the movie actually <laughs> called? Wait. Uh, uh, night, at the oh, night at the Museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Night at the Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we took like uh, a walk through Manhattan. The, the, yeah. The, uh, mm. the Manhattan Park. Uh, yeah. So, That's yeah, awesome. we, we basically did all the tourist things pretty much, uh, yeah. which was really cool. The metro was like a big plus. That's so fucking good transportation yeah. wise. Um, and after half a week, we all went all the way to the west coast, and we did a tour from LA to San Francisco, uh, into Nevada, Las Vegas, down to, um, well, let's see, True National Park, uh, Grand Canyon National Park, mm -hmm. Phoenix, back to LA. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, like a one month tour, kind of, three and a half weeks. Oh damn. damn! Yeah, I went there with my uh, with my brother, and we did like a two man tour. We hired a car, and we just drove. We had uh, we did have the all the um, all the hotels uh, pre booked. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, so you had like but, somewhere but, but we had, like, to the be whole, at Yeah, we had like time. day you had to be there, but like you can fill in the rest of the day. Mm hmm. Well, that's cool. And that was amazing. Uh, but yeah, most of the time we just like saw shit, saw the environment, or like in the cities. Mm. Los Angeles was pretty boring, <laughs> to be honest. San Not Francisco really. was amazing. Like so many high difference. Uh, you got the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island. Mm. Uh, we even rode a bike over the Golden Gate Bridge, like a a, a cycle bike. Mm. Not a not a room room. Cycle. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you, do you mean yeah, a like tandem bike? Cycle, yeah. A two bicycle, yeah, two, yeah. Two people bike or just one people bike? Uh no, we had two it's one normal? people bikes. Oh, get that, man. No, 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 no. I'm not that close with my with my brother. That is the romantic <laughs> bike, dude. Come on. No. Oh. no. Damn it. <laughs> my girlfriend, but. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, that's fine. Uh we rode the cable that's car, really cool. all all that stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, we saw all, pretty much all the major parks, uh, Yosemite Park, uh, oh, wow. National Forest, Sequoia Park, all those big That's ones. That's a lot Death of Valley. A lot of traveling. Jesus, nice. 
Yeah, we pretty much did you see the really really big like trees. The, the at Redwood least half the day. What did you say? Did you see redwood trees? The really 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 big ones. Um, the famous ones. Not up close. Okay. Completely. Just from far away. Big yes. Boys. Them the big boys. Is is it these the trees that needs a forest fire to survive? I have no they idea. Can, I think they can. Yes, um, because, because they're so big. Yeah, exactly. And if if uh, a fire isn't comes and goes a bit, then uh, they don't get oh, enough. Uh, uh, yes, yes, they are because in the museum somewhere. Yeah. Oh right, yes. One, one of yes. the national park, they have like a cut through exactly. of uh, of of the redwood tree. Exactly. And you actually can see where the fires have been because then one side is all black and charred. Yeah. And then like a few oh. years, it skips a few years with growing, and after that, it just grows again. Yeah. You can just see it back. It has like to the, have the forest fire every couple of years, otherwise the forest will actually die. Um, and that was actually a problem I heard in America. They were so good at stopping oh. forest fires that oh. they had to do control <laughs> forest fires, not to kill them. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Oh, it's such well, a that's interesting, actually. That's a weird problem. That's yeah. That's wow. Should we that's... do the next question? Sure. Is it about forest fires? More. Is it no, about four it's not. It's, it's then not, I'll keep going. I have, this, I have this one more. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So, do you want to be like a planned vacation? Or do you want it to be like a, you go there and then you just sort of see what happens? You know, oh go with the flow kind of. Oh, oh God. I'm, I'm, do you I'm prefer a planned one where you've, where you've like, like, okay, we're going there on this day and then we have time to do this, this, and this, and then we're going to do that. And then we have the next day and the next day and the next, like you've, you've already structured up yeah. our vacation. Um, yes. Or do yes. you want to have like, uh, we sort of go there, have a trip back, but in between we got like this much time to do whatever the heck we feel like when we're there. Okay. So like you can go were... as far to yes. like check up like, okay, these things are something we want to do whenever. So when we went to America, we actually had yeah. some pre-planned stuff, uh, like we want to see that, we know that day we're going to travel from there to there, and we already mm -hmm. checked, like, there's a few things we could do, but we actually yep. decided on the day itself, or like the day before, what we're going to do. Yeah. So it's it's kind of in the fun. middle. Yeah, but it's, it's still pretty, it's, it's still still pretty pre structured. Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to San Francisco have... for two days, so we have one day to check out the Golden Gate Bridge, and we have another day yeah. to check out the south of, of San Francisco or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely of the first like pre-planned. You yeah. you want to plan at it. least to some extent, yes. Mm. Yeah. Because I wanna I wanna know what the fuck I can do there, and then um, right. uh, actually see uh, what I want to see. And not yeah. be like when I get home, like, and then you check out. Oh, wait, I just I did could've, the I most done important this that. thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. No, that's uh, like uh, I've I've traveled quite a lot. I I've done both different kinds. I mean, I've done the have no plans, and I've done the have plans. And I can definitely say, like, you get way more out of your vacation if you plan. Oh god, uh, yeah. But I prefer having like options when you get there you still have options you have like okay oh, these yeah. are the things we want to do and we have these days to do it because some of these things might require nice weather some of them might oh hello this one to that day if you want to pref preferably do it that day instead or oh it was actually nice weather this day well let's do this thing in case fucking <laughs> discord a do that. But this guy died that whole time, so I didn't hear yeah, a single thing. I, okay, it's not me, just me. Okay, no, no we, did, oh, really? we didn't hear anything, Mewish. No, I had to restart or change the server. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I think the stream still hurt though. Uh. But I can do it again. <laughs> yeah, great story. Uh, from right now, uh, we're, my feed is what we're putting on on YouTube. Or yeah. It so is. what I said, anyways, is like you, I I prefer, and I'd say from my travels that uh, it's better to have sort of a plan. Like you you written down things you want to do, and then you can have open like switching days depending on like if you need nice weather to do something or if you don't need nice weather to do something. 
but like have at least a plan of these things are things we want to do. These are kind mm. of less less important things, and and these things we'll do if if we feel like it. You can have like three lists, and then you mm. do you make sure you do these on the first list, and then if you get time, you do the second list, and you know if you feel like it, you do something from the third list. That's, That's what I did when we went to South Africa and had like a whole list of shit that we wanted to do, and That's it fair. was. You know, you really, you really manage to get a lot out of your vacation when you do that. Uh, but sometimes you go somewhere and you're like, I actually don't have a plan at all. I kind of just want to chill out and then, eh, just do whatever. Like when I went this time, I wasn't, I didn't plan anything because the only thing I was like, I'm gonna just tag along with whatever everyone else wants to do. And I want to hang out with my family. That was my whole point of going to South Africa, like this time. So I had absolutely no plans, none Fair whatsoever. Enough. But you've been there before as well, so it's not. But it's yeah, not a new I have, place. I have, yeah, okay. I have been there before, and like my point was to just be with my family and stuff. So I managed to do that anyway. <laughs> I didn't have plan. to plan this time. Yeah, that's so. fair. If you if you come to the same place multiple times, it's like yeah, you don't have to see everything again. No. Yeah. And just just go more chill and just explore the yeah. city or whatever. Exactly. You just you just chill out and, and just tag along to whatever things are doing and stuff. That's fine. That is fine. Yeah, I I prefer to, to plan more. I yeah. I I, I like can't be plan everything or like, more I, like I, I, I can be spontaneous, but I, I real okay. Time optimists stress me the fuck out. And my ex mm. was a time optimist. Um mm. so I had to like I had to tr plan everything almost otherwise she would mm. just die basically <laughs> god basically no. it was it was really bad like if you ever were going anywhere she never looked up like uh, where the destination was like she's like okay we're supposed to go here then she looked up like 10 minutes before we had to travel like oh i need mm -hmm. to go there oh that's gonna take a long time oh i need and they're like ah oh. <laughs> so me i'm <laughs> planning planning is that's mm. that's that's much i am I used to plan. I mean, I have like, I have like, uh, from years ago when I was just going up with two friends to Stockholm, and I have like a whole itinerary of exactly what times we were going, what it would, what time we would be where, yeah. and what we were gonna do, that's smart. and oh, that's smart. everything. Like, I had that's like smart. full A four of everything Perfect. that we were doing, like completely with maps. And everything. We're good. Oh, God. We're good. For everything. Like, seriously, that's what I had. Uh, now my brain is just not working anymore. So I'm just like, oh, that's never mind. It's, it's happening. Okay, We're going to so, end up so, anywhere. So, so uh, my thought okay. for, for vacation is like, okay, I'm going to place, insert place name. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, I want to see this, this, and this. And we're going to do that in one of the next few days. I don't really fucking care what happens in between, <laughs> as long as I see those things. So I'm like, mm, that's good. I'm just chilling out, I'm having a vacation, I'm just relaxing. Mm. It's just like, okay, today we're gonna see this, tomorrow we're gonna see that, okay, I'm happy, I've seen everything I wanted to see. Yeah, that's fair. All yeah, the rest is a plus. Relax. That's pretty much my intention on going on holiday, like, okay, we're yeah. going there, okay, I wanna see that. Yeah. Now the thing is just like uh, if shit goes south, the the one thing is like Ooh. don't don't get don't get too stressed out about it. I mean you're still Ooh. on a freaking vacation. It just yep. shit happens, and you can't you can't really plan for everything. That's yeah. the thing. Like yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to travel with someone when you're when you want to plan like everything, because it 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 puts stress on people. It, it makes With it more efficient and more enjoyable, mm. Newish. That's what you mean? <laughs> it mm. makes no. it the perfect like, traveling certain, experience. Just, just imagine someone point. having an ear infection on your holiday. You might as well go alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Like, there's some things you can't control, though. And <laughs> of course, going going nuts about it is of just course. it's not worth it. It's just gonna ruin your vacation yeah. instead of just like, oh well, shit happened. What are you gonna yeah. do? Just you enjoy know? the time you have. Yeah. Just, just go, go sit on a beach or something, or like whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or on, on, on a, get a drink. Get an know. Asian mother, mm -hmm. dude. That's all. That's yeah, all oh, problems. Yeah. Dude, that's oh. all problems. Why didn't I yeah. do that? 
Oh. She kept asking if I had a brother or something. <gasps> I was like, um. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. um, this is, that is my, weird. my brother my brother is younger than me so that's not a thing and she's like hey, is your dad married i'm like yeah he okay, is. okay 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 <laughs> oh, never mind when, oh. never mind um, she was trying to get that uh, things, that dollar dollar things, things, trying got, to get things got a bit weird there once and i was like yeah no that cheese mm. but the real Yikes. question is was he hot yeah <laughs> was it a hot mama um <laughs> i mean she looked pretty good for her age honestly but, but could you tell her uh, age? <laughs> I, no, I couldn't. Asian women. Like, like she, she, asked me, she asked me, like, how, how old do you think I am? And I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm like 35 or something. She's like, nah, I had 10 years. I was like, oh, well, damn. Damn, girl. <laughs> you fine. <laughs> damn. How old are you? Mm, 18 plus? Mm. My father <laughs> might be interested, and he, after all, never mind. Uh, <laughs> big, big yikes. Big yikes. Eesh. But, you know. That's awesome. That is awesome. That was most. That was most of the women there, though. So it's like, yeah, uh, kind of sad. <laughs> let's let's go back to the most important part. The best way to travel is it? Oh. Is it? Is it? Number one by walking. Number two by skiing. Who the fuck skis when they travels? Number three <laughs> uh, by car. Number four train. Number five plane. Ship is not a valid transportation. Okay. Because mm. it's basically but, but car. <laughs> it's, 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 literally going on a ship on water. can yeah. be the it entire is, trip de, though. Do you know, the, the thing is, it's usually just a oh, pleasure cruise. cruise. Yep. It's just a cruise. Yep. So you just go around in a circle. It's not really... Yeah. And you I stop would in design a few it. cities. Yeah. Yep. You, yeah. It's, you basically just sit in the boat and just eat yeah, and a drink. a giant floating hotel. Yeah, it's just a floating hotel. Yeah, a giant floating hotel, yeah, pretty much, yeah. With, yeah. with, so with, with, is... with some extras, kinda, like, like, like cool. a theater and stuff, yeah. It's probably super nice, it's just not, in my in my I've, opinion, I've traveling. Yeah, it's not It's not really traveling. It it's is like traveling. a Dubai five-star You go to hotel. a place, and then you get off there for a day, and then you go to a next place, and then you get mm -hmm. off there for a day. Like, you go back to the boat, basically, just to get to the next place, and you, you pretty much live there. It's like a hotel with a tiny little, like, it has a little shopping street with the bars and and it's like a small city go. basically. Yeah, it's like a tiny little city that just floats around and brings you to the next place that you can go explore for the day. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's it's probably amazing. It's pretty. Cool. But technically, it don't really amazing, but... move. That's my that's my thing. Like, sure, you you leave the like, boat and visit things. To, yeah, you don't but have yeah, to you actually like kind of stay. Travel. No, but yeah, I feel it... you. I feel you. Yeah, but it's really cool that, that way. That is like a way more comfortable way of traveling, I must say, because you don't have to like. Because get the on travel the plane is crap. also the destination. Well, yeah, kind of. Okay, do you want to hear another story for me? But anyway. <laughs> oh, God. God. To travel. <laughs> Should we do this as the last why, story? Why then? Do because I... I feel like we've, we've had such yes, a long yeah, stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. We can. I have, I have another thing I'm going to talk yeah. about later, but sure. We can talk about this as well. Um, hmm. So I went uh, on a boat with my family. We were on a cruise uh -huh. uh, between like, I don't know, in Sweden, between for some reason. I was pretty young. I was like five or six at the time. Uh -huh. um, we were on the ship. It was a very like stormy, stormy night. Like it was so stormy that the ship almost like not capsized, but like it wasn't far away. Oh, like God. people were like oh, dancing on like the, uh, the stairways and stuff. Like it was, yeah, it mm. was really, really rocky. Um, and I, yeah, I got really sick. Because I was a small child and it was very stormy, and it was mm. it was pretty scary. Um, what was it? It was like a few weeks later or something like that, like a month or something. Um, the Estonia boat accident happened. Mm -hmm. Oh god! Uh, well, that's terrifying. <laughs> to be like, wait, wait, what boat did you, did we take? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was like it was the same company, but it was a oh. a different boat. Ooh, so, was like, so we're like, mm. <laughs> that was that was a bit exciting. Hmm. That was slightly exciting. You were all looking at each other uh. like we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, like my my mother had a small heart attack. Oh, that was that just was minor exciting. heart attack. Yeah, it's the minor fine. one. Oh, yeah, it's the minor one. Just cool. Just cool. Okay, so I need I need you to answer what is the best way mm -hmm. to travel. I can add as 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 a sixth one, but I'll add it after you've answered. So you, oh do you want to go boat? You want to go? But best um, way of traveling. Yeah. Okay. Like, mm. Best way of getting to your destination. You mean? Sure. 
Is that is that what we're going for? Sure. Okay. Um. It, it depends how far you go. If you go far, it's obviously plane. Sure, yeah, yeah, if you go far, it's a plane because that, that will get you further quicker, you know? That's fair. Uh, but but terrain more. could be an option because I've... the terrain travel is actually also kind of a journey then because you can see yeah, a lot of it's stuff nice. on yeah. the way. So uh, terrain is a really good competitor. And if you just want to go I've gone medium on good to small trains. distance, I guess car, walking, no. <laughs> wow. I kind it's of it's gonna take do... three days to just get out of the country. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> just get walking, out of this town. Take too far. <laughs> I would it would take too. I to walk anywhere would take way far too much time. It would just be like. I've uh, done a cycle holiday anywhere? once. <laughs> and it took I'm there yet. I'm yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did like, a three day cycle to the that. north of my country. Oh. I still want to do that whole RV thing where you just drive around mm. because it, it just seems like an interesting way of going. I've done like uh, small trips with car because I mean when we went with mom up to Dalarna we drive by car. Oh, that's, and yeah, I mean, kind of slow. Uh, yeah, but that's more the than train. The car I can is say the like the, is is it's, it's, if it's a good train, yeah, train is nice. If it's a bad train, it's kind of horrifying. Not <laughs> great. Mm, yeah, not I an mean, India train I mean, like. Bad, did the bad train in Asia? Um, mm. Well, let's just say the train was uh, not very smooth. Uh, the seats were very not comfortable, very squished mm. together. And uh, I mean, obviously, because Asians are so freaking short or something. Wow. I don't know. Racism? But I felt like I was Zero squished legs. in. I had no place for my legs. And I was like, dude, I'm not that tall. <laughs> Imagine if a um, Dutch person sat here. <laughs> Jeebus. It was, um, yeah, not comfortable. Um, so yikes. So in that, I know people in that way, like I'd say the train was not very, very comfortable way of traveling. Um, it's harsh, man. It's it, 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 all, it all depends on how far you're going and stuff. But I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I will now give you the greatest way to travel. Okay. The greatest well way to travel. Okay. And Drum roll. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's it's called Google Earth. VR it's called or... Google Earth VR. No, it's not. It the is internet. You travel uh -huh. in a post box. You travel by mail. It's both fast, what? cheap. It's not very comfortable, but it's very very cheap. Okay. Uh. Cool. Um. So you don't freeze that in the plane. Well, you kind of do. That's a slight problem. Yeah. It's also illegal. Um. And you don't really mm. have a way to go to the bathroom. So you uh, insert catheter and have that, and then you yeah. bring uh, a yep. tube of uh, of uh, air for when yeah. you know the air runs out and gets really thin, yeah. and you have to insulate your box. Yep, yep. Yes. So that you're nice and cozy in there. I put some and... cat litter on the bottom. Yes. Yep. No, that's the catheter. That's what you have the catheter yeah, for. Yeah, you just shove it up yeah. your. Um... Prison pocket. You shove it into your thingamajigger and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's then perfect. You put a little plastic well, for the bag pee -pee, but not for, your, for your poo poos. <laughs> you have a little extra plastic bag for your poo poos. Mm. Don't worry about it. Don't drill holes. Yeah, so you know. You don't need air. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's it's perfect. You just bring some water, some food. Um, you make some mm -hmm. very small air air holes in the box. But there won't be air down there. It's not. There's air in place. You, you need to actually bring oxygen no. tank because they don't have they don't flow enough oxygen into the into the cargo space. Like Nothing down there that needs oxygen. You're you're not up in. What do you what do you? Okay, Mewish, Mewish. Yeah, but you, you go don't very go, very high up. You don't up go where into there's not space. A lot of... There's animals in those compartments. The, the cab the cabin is pressurized. Mewish, there's animals in those compartments. Oh god. There's always been animals in those there's poor, there poor is animals. air. I there is the air. They die all the time no, in those. They don't. You know. Yeah, they do. No. What? They, they actually do. I I I this feels like fake news. But I can't I can't promise. It's horrifying. I would never take an animal like that. Honestly, what? like either you take it in the cabin or you don't take your animal. And honestly, you don't take your animal. I take my animal don't in my private jet. Take <laughs> animal. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can take your private jet. Just let the ferret run, run around in the cockpit. Mm. You're a private jet? No, no. 
<laughs> Fair enough, that is slightly, slightly terrifying. I've I've never had a, a, an animal on a plane, but I know people do have them in the cargo, and I've mm. heard they're fine. But I don't know. That is that is a scary thought. Like it's just the noise mm. is probably enough to terrify them. To be fair, to just give them a heart attack. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, and then like the the fact that you go so high that you get like uh, your ears will hurt and stuff, and they don't okay. know what to do about it, yeah. and you know. So you know in the airplane when there's a little kid behind you just kicking your chair? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now just imagine a big dog behind you just <laughs> in your ear the whole flight. <laughs> yeah, and then he starts vomiting because he gets nauseous, nauseous yep. and stuff, yeah. Aww. Yeah, and every, every now and then you're like... <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> yeah, horrifying. No. No. Oh, doggos. Poor, poor animals, I would not, nope. I did like that I found one with someone carrying a kangaroo on their plane. What the uh, heck? That's, <laughs> what the heck are you doing here, kangaroo? Is, is, is it like a, like a gift from Australia? <laughs> like, I'll take oh this kangaroo from someone. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> Just bring one home. <laughs> Two seats back, just like a guy with a koala. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, well, so, have we have we solved traveling? Okay, so we said it's better to um, get a box. Get a box. It better, costs like fifty bucks. To... You can go cross cross the country. Don't worry about it. Don't and worry you about can it. Reuse it. I, I was thinking like the questions we had. So it was better to uh, pay a little more uh, and uh, get there quicker because mm -hmm. the traveling is is gotta be uh, slightly com convenient as well. Yes, is what we have settled on. Uh, warm climate is preferable. Yep. Yes. Uh, visiting people <laughs> was uh, next. We prefer exploring, uh, and we would prefer to plan our exploring a bit as well. Not uh, not just dump ourselves in a new place and just be like, "What the heck is this place?" Um, we are pedantic and social people. Where the hell did people. I wake up? <laughs> <laughs> this like, is I'm not my bad. Place. This is cool. <laughs> Good. I'll, perfect. That is that is how we travel. Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay. This is fine. Then we might as well <laughs> take a fucking good. box then. That's actually roulette as fuck. You just take or the box and you leave um, whichever place you feel like. You're like, well, I've done yeah. with my travels. You just exit the box and you're like, I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. That's, the yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. it's the worst that can happen. It's illegal uh, immigrants. You could die, I don't know. Yeah, you it's... could send to prison. Um... Okay, yeah. I can yeah. think of a few things, but... You saved a few I bucks? Mean, sure. Good effort. Good value. <laughs> mm. Mm. Great value. Maybe cool. not. Maybe not. Mm. Maybe I'll, I'll think I'll, about that. I'll stick to traveling by, on internet. <laughs> exactly. In I mean... Google Earth. Or you just buy a VR. Yes. And there you go. About the same cost, to be fair, as a mm. blood ticket mm. <laughs> abroad. Yeah, but you can go anywhere with your VR, right? That's and you true. can reuse it. Yeah, over and over again. You can again. only use your ticket once. But it's, you know, the actual feeling of going a place and stuff. That's unnecessary. That's mm. unnecessary. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you might get an ear infection. You might get yeah, it. You, you might, might cut you, your you hand. Slice, slice through your thumb and get an ear infection. Right. Roll down a snowy hill. And... And... Right. Yeah. <laughs> Almost get sold to some dude in egypt and you know um, get, sick, get sick on a on a on a, on a, on a boat i don't know uh, could get bombed in israel yeah that's pretty exciting yeah, uh, yeah. i mean uh, uh, <laughs> i'm staying home okay <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty nice i don't know i guess it's up to you guys to choose what you guys want to do yeah because we don't have taste which has been <laughs> been told mm. i mean been proven we have the best taste. Hey, come on. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but obviously our true. opinion is the only one that matters. Exactly. Exactly. So... That is correct. I agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, I literally uh... speaking have no taste, so... That's we keep part. saying that. We need to talk about that one day, but not today. Yeah. Because it's a yeah. time to end. <laughs> it is definitely time to end this podcast this for is... today. This I is going like to be uh, excel now... as fuck. Yeah, this is an extra long one about traveling, yeah. which is uh, which has been really fun, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and uh, that you'll be back next time when uh, who will be making the topic? I know, that's Mewis. See your nose.
What? <laughs> Mewish knows all, all the picks, time. Who picks the topic? What is this? What is this, Shaki? I, I pick topic! It's Alistar! It's I Alistar's topic. topic. Okay, so we'll see what Alistar wants us to talk about next time. Yeah, please send me messages because right, yeah. I have no clue what to talk about. I mean, this uh, has been planned for months in advance. We are so on point. Don't send any messages to Alistar We're about so the on point. topic. <laughs> How dare you? Send them to Mewish on Twitch on Twitch instead. Like no, don't yeah. take my topics. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, no. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry. Anyways, about it. thank you guys so much for joining us, and uh, fun. hope you have an awesome day. And if you're going traveling, take care, have fun, choose good friends, make some, make some beautiful clean. memories. <laughs> yeah, don't cut yourself. <laughs> Try not, try not to uh, cut yourself. It, it, it is not, not something I would uh, recommend. Uh, but do if it. you do, try and be chill about it and uh, <laughs> just think it's it's gonna be a good story someday. You'll yeah. you'll enjoy it. Yeah, put it, enjoy the ride. put yep. it in your mouth. Look like a vampire. Don't worry about it. It's it's cool. just, Don't worry. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it is. It was in for quite a while. It probably was in at the time it happened. So I was like, oh, no, vampire, it Eduardo. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. yeah! Thank you, everybody. Uh, Take care. We are now signing off. The we'll see the you next time, time. girl. See bye you bye. guys. Bye. bye. Where is the button? There it is. Click it. <laughs> I've clicked it. Very good. We're good at this. We are great at this. We are pretty fucking excellent at this. Thank you very much. Hmm. Hmm. What? Are you rethinking really your life Almost decisions? Almost two hours. <laughs> yup. Oh. Yeah, that got a bit longer than expected, I guess. Whoops. Yes, That's you. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's point oh. fingers! I like how we started this, po the, this podcast pointing fingers and we ended with pointing fingers! Yes. I like how every I never time you guys are pointing, my pointing finger. fingers, you're always yes. pointing fingers at yes, me. Yes, we are! Yes, we are! Of course. You are it's you starting are, to get a little bit mean and are, hurtful, actually. Oh, so it, you, it has, it has started to become gonna, mean and hurtful. It, yeah, is, can, it is a bit unnecessary. Like chill, chill a bit with this now. I'm, so, I'm impressed like, how, how prepared you were for not being prepared. I'm, I'm always prepared and not being prepared, dude. <laughs> oh, God. That is thing. <laughs> the me. best kind of scat. I... I make things work. That's what I do. I, I may not come in with the most prepared face, but uh, <laughs> when I when I fucking I'm like okay I'm doing this then I go all in and I I make it work. Do you need time pressure? That no. Is, it, you need you need some kind of like oh we're starting in ten minutes. But I have been I've been fixing shit I've been I started this podcast before. I had I had like my stream and everything started like five minutes before we actually started the podcast as well, so it did the whole intro shit for a while. Oh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that 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 seems to to be a good thing for you. Like that's that's when you you get your focus face on. It's not a bad thing. Mm.